Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when we call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, with big differences in height, but a similar reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of seven wins, three losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Mickey Gunn! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, to really go round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Opens with the inside leg kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice punch there by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at him dig his shin right under his opponent's elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Keep going again. Go again. Big body kick. Nice straight right lands. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night in that landed. Combination.
position lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Shot is blocked there by Lou. Hands on your face. Big head kick lands. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He is all about that left kick to the body. Continues to mix it up, going over the head, mixing in some body shots. Ball gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Just missed with the left there. Just out of range, though, with it. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Slips the punch. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Straight right, he misses. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Watch the Shot is blocked. Nice one, two there. Sneaky head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. And then he throws an overhand right. seconds now to go in the round. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed into a knee to the body. It could in the night. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. I mean, that right hand landed square. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. 
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Big ball for Brooks Land. I will get back to range. He missed with that jab attempt there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, nice. Ball gets hit with a kick. Oh, he missed with that right hand. And he continues to work the body here. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Liver kick. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Dahl gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Come on, pressure. Kick to the body by Lee. Dahl's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Dahl gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Look to the body here, but strong defense by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Good sequence of kicks there by Lee. A swing and a miss by Gold. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Can't take many of those, you better check. Lands with the right hand. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Counter left. Back and forth we go here. Throwing that jab, no good. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Just misses there with the left. Goes back to that left kick once again. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Lands with the left. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high. Bad. What a fight so far! Stop, stop, stop. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, misses with the jab. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Gall's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Let's go! Kick! Yeah. Out of range with that one. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. DC. Just out of range with that left hook. Leg kick. Ooh. And now he lands a combination. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, 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 oh. This fight's gonna be over these. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent started going oh, low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. He's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focusment in his opponent. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Shot to the body now, blocked by Gold. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a test. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Hit with a kick. His hands are down. Let's set up that high kick now. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Calls all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Uh, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. How about that shin? You gotta dig deep here. Almost. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Head kick. Nice loop and punch. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. It's okay. Keep going. Attempts the front kick there. Ten seconds. 
tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice punch land over the top. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, pretty good counter jab to the head by goal. Big kick lands. on that leg kick. Well, that body kick was there early. He's not there on that attack. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, yeah, right hand. Both guys landing with conviction now. <laughs> Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a straight job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he gets to the knee. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Straight right. Oh, he's out. He got him. <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is what they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 22 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.